Today we're going to be drawing some kites together. And if you have painting supplies at home, we're also going to be painting a blue sky, either with watercolor paint or maybe acrylic paint, whatever paint you have at home. We're going to paint a blue sky, maybe some green grass, and then we're going to cut our kite out and glue it onto our blue sky painting. But if you don't have painting supplies at home, it's okay. We're going to do a fun drawing together of kites and clouds. So get all your supplies ready and don't forget you can pause the video whenever you need to. Let's get started. If you're going to do a painting project, um, the first thing you would do is paint your blue sky. So if you're using this kind of paint, like an acrylic paint, um, Again, you would need like cardstock or um, some sort of thicker, heavier paper, like cardboard maybe. And I already painted my sky blue and I left some space at the bottom for green grass. If you wanna do green grass, you don't have to, but you can. So I'm just gonna put that aside for now and show you another way you can paint. This is watercolor paper. And boys and girls, you might remember we've used watercolor paper before in class. So if you have watercolor paper at home, great. If you don't, that's okay. We can just make this a drawing project and we'll talk more about that in a minute. But just in case you do have watercolor paint and watercolor paper at home, uh, let me show you how we would do that. Here's my watercolor paint. And of course, since it's watercolor, we have to add water. So I have a jar of water and I have a brush. And since we're doing pretty much the whole paper, we need a big brush. So see what size my brush is? It's a big brush. There are lots of different sizes of brushes, right? And we've used different brushes in class. So uh, for this, for the sky, we wanna use a big brush like this. And of course, we probably wanna have um, newspaper or some sort of plastic tablecloth, something to protect our table. Anyway, I'm gonna add water. And <clears throat> not only do we have to add water, but we also have to stir. The more we stir, the brighter and um, just a brighter, bolder blue we will get or whatever color we're using. The more we stir it, the better. So I stirred that and now I'm just gonna paint my blue sky. I'm gonna keep painting my sky blue and see how I'm going right over the edges of the paper? So I'm going right over the edge so that the whole paper gets painted blue and we don't have any white showing when we're done. So this, boys and girls, believe it or not, this is called doing a wash. I know that sounds funny. When you hear the word wash, you think of taking a bath or you think of washing your hands. But in art, we use the word wash to mean that we are painting a layer of light color over this whole paper. So you might remember hearing me say that word before. So we just did a wash of blue on our paper, or we painted our paper light blue for, for blue sky in watercolor paint. So again, if you're not doing the painting part of this project, that's okay. You can just watch the next few minutes for fun. Um, another thing you can do if you don't have paint supplies at home, if your mom or your dad or your grandma, somebody has just some blue paper, you can just use blue paper for your background or you can just use a regular white sheet of paper and we'll talk more about that in a minute. But I wanted to show you one more thing with painting. If you have acrylic paint at home or tempera paint or um, some kind of 
paint that you're using on cardstock or heavy cardboard paper and you want to paint some grass, I'm going to show you how to do that. Now we've actually done this in class before, so you might remember doing grass. And when I show you, you'll probably remember. So if you want, you can squirt out some paint or squeeze out some paint. Um, or you can have your mom or dad or grandma or grandpa help you do this right on the paper. If you don't want to do it right on the paper, you can do it on a palette like this. You might remember seeing these in class. And if you don't have a palette at home, you can just use a plastic lid like this. I use lids like this as palettes all the time. Or you can just put it right on the paper. And so what I'm gonna do is, not only am I gonna spread this around, and we don't wanna have too much paint on our paper, because we don't want any puddles of paint. Remember that, boys and girls? We don't want any puddles. All right, so not only am I gonna spread it around, but when I get to the top, do you remember this, boys and girls? We came from the bottom up, from the bottom up, from the bottom up. Let me zoom in a little bit on that and you can see what I'm doing. See how I'm making it look like grass? You might remember doing that before in class. Okay, so from the bottom up, from the bottom up. And if we keep doing that, from the bottom up. It can look like grass. All right, this is a lot of thick grass at the bottom. You don't have to do it that thick. If you want to keep it very skinny, you can do that. Let me show you on the watercolor paint painting, you could do it too. And let me show you what it would look like if you kept it really skinny at the bottom. Maybe I just need a little bit. Maybe for this, since I'm keeping it skinny, I would put it on my, my little palette like that, see? And we're just gonna go from the bottom up. From the bottom up. So I'm not starting here and coming down. I want it to look like grass. So I'm going like that. Now, if that's too hard for you, I mean, we have done this in class before, most of you, but if that's too hard and you just wanna color or um, paint the whole bottom green, that's fine. Or if you're not doing any painting, like I said, we're gonna do drawing in just a minute. Uh, or you can decide not to have any grass and just have blue sky, because we're doing kites and kites are in the sky. And so you don't have to show green grass if you don't want to. Okay, so let's draw some kites. So the first thing we're gonna draw is a cross. And I'm gonna put it way up here at the top of my paper because my kites are going to be flying high up in the sky. So a cross is just two lines. One really long line going down and then a shorter line going across like that and it's really important that this line is longer okay so we have a cross and once we have the cross we're going to draw a line that connects from the top to the side then another line a straight line that connects from the side to the bottom from the bottom to the side, and from the side to the top. So see how I went all the way around? And I drew lines all the way around. Okay, so let's do that again. This time I'm gonna put it kind of on a angle because it's flying in the sky. So one really long, tall line down, and a short line across. And now we're going to draw those straight lines from point to point. Okay, so from the top point to the side, 
from the side to the bottom, from the bottom to the side, and if you want, you can come back up to the top and draw from the top to the side like that. All right, so there is our kite. And then all we need is a string, so maybe a wavy line for your string on your kite. And if you wanna make your kite really fancy, you can put some bows on your kite. And the way we're gonna put bows on our kite is we're gonna just use a little triangle shape. I know you all remember what a triangle is. A triangle has three sides, like that. One, two, three. Three sides to a triangle. So we're gonna make some tiny little triangles, one on each side of the string, to make our bow. So there's one little triangle. There's another little triangle, and now I have a bow on my kite. I'm gonna put three bows on each kite. Now I'm going pretty fast. You might not be able to go as fast as I'm going, so that's fine. You can put, you can put the video on pause and take your time and then start it again when you're ready. But I'm gonna go ahead and make three bows on each string. So I'm just making little triangles, one, two, three, one, two, three, three little triangles, or three little lines to make a triangle, and three little bows on each kite. So now I'm gonna color my kites. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna outline with marker. And I have Sharpies, but you might not have Sharpies. That's okay, you can use your Crayola markers or whatever kind of markers you might have at home. And I'm gonna just use a different color in each section of the kite. And you know what, I'm not gonna use blue because I think I'm gonna color my sky blue. And so since the sky is gonna be blue, I'm not gonna put any blue in my kite. But if you wanna put blue in your kite, that's fine. All right, so now that I outlined or I traced over all my lines with marker, I'm gonna color in with colored pencil. So here's purple. And I'm gonna use green. And I'm going pretty fast. So like I said before, whenever you need to pause the video, you go ahead and pause the video. And then you can color your kite and then start the video again when you're ready. Okay, so I have orange and then some red. All right, and I'm gonna do my string with a black marker. And I'm gonna do my bows in the same colors that I did up here in the kite. So I'm gonna use orange, maybe I'll put orange in the middle. And red was at the top, so I'm gonna put red at the top right there. And maybe green down here. And then I can color those in. So red. And then orange. So this is going to be just a drawing of kites. And if you want to do both a drawing and a painting project of kites, you could do two projects. That would be great. This one is just going to be drawing, and then I'm going to show you what we're going to do for the painting project. So um, let me show you what else you can do. Instead of just coloring in one color, if you would like to put some patterns in your kite, we've done patterns in class before, so I know you guys are all really good at drawing patterns. So here's what I mean. You could do polka dots 
you could do stripes. Maybe I'll put stripes down here. You could do zigzag up and down, which is like this. So you can put different patterns in your kite if you would like to with marker. And then you could color with colored pencil. So maybe, maybe since it's purple, I'm going to do pink. So you can just fill that in whatever colors you'd like. Okay, and again, I would do the string with black. And I'm going pretty fast. But like I said, you can pause the video. And then you can color your kite. So maybe I'll do some yellow stripes on, on here. How would that look? Maybe yellow and purple. That's kind of fun, isn't it? Yellow and purple stripes. Okay. Oop, I forgot a yellow right there. So when I'm done with this, you can just color the whole sky blue if you'd like. You can draw some clouds. Remember when we did our baby chick project, I showed you how to make some clouds. We did frown, 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 and then we did smile, smile, smile. Remember that? So if you wanted to do some clouds in the sky with your kites, you could. If you wanted to draw or color some green grass down here, you could do that too. Okay, so I drew some more clouds. I finished coloring my kite, so the only thing I would need to do now is to color my sky blue. But I want to show you um, what you could do if you're if you're gonna do the painting project. So for the for the painting project, we're gonna draw another kite on a regular sheet of white paper. So remember how to do that? We're gonna draw a big cross. Now if you make your cross too small, then your kite will be too small. So we want a nice big cross. See how big that is? And then, remember this line has to be really long. And then we're gonna draw those straight lines all the way around it. And now I'm not gonna draw a string or bows on this kite. I'm just gonna do the top part, but I am gonna outline it and color it. Maybe I'll make this one green and purple and maybe I'll put stripes over here and I'll put stripes over here so again I'm going really fast so whenever you need to pause the video you can pause the video okay and then I'm just gonna color this So I'm just making another kite because what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this out, all right? So the other one we just did can be our drawing. This is gonna be for our painting project. If you have paint supplies at home and if, if you are able to paint the blue sky, this is gonna be for that. So here's my kite and now I'm going to cut it out. So you can get your scissors and do you notice how I'm holding the scissors? See where my thumb is in that top hole? I know you guys are all really good at cutting with scissors, but if you need a little bit of help, maybe your mom or your dad or your grandma or whoever's helping you can help you cut that out. Okay, so now that I have my kite, Remember this? This is the watercolor paper that I painted the sky blue and I painted some green grass. So now I'm gonna glue my kite onto 
my blue sky. So you're gonna need some glue. If you have a glue stick or you have Elmer's glue, that's fine. You guys remember what kind of glue I use, right? In class, we usually use tacky glue. But if you don't have tacky glue, that's okay. All right, and you don't need a lot of glue, just a little bit. And what I like to do is I like to spread out the glue to all the edges. Now, that does mean you get a little bit of glue on your finger, but that's okay. You can have a paper towel or something nearby that you can just wipe off, wipe off the glue off your finger. And then I'm gonna put my kite up in the sky like that. Doesn't that look nice? Okay, so now that my kite's up there, I do need a string. So you have a couple choices. If you wanna draw your string, you have to make sure the paint is completely dry because if the paint is not dry, if it's a little damp still, it might ruin your marker. So we've talked about that in class before. You have to make sure this is completely dry. If it is, then you can draw your string with marker. Another idea is if you happen to have some yarn at home, I have a piece of yarn here, and it doesn't matter what color it is, it could be any color. Maybe your mom or your grandma or somebody has some yarn that you could use. You just need to make a wavy line with your glue. Now that's a little tricky because you don't want to squirt out too much glue, just a little bit. And then you're gonna put your yarn on like this. So this is just another idea. You don't have to do this idea. You can just draw your string with a marker and that would be fine. And remember what we always say in class, press and hold and count to 10, right? Okay. So if you wanna put some bows on your kite, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, so if you wanna do bows, you can just draw them with your marker like we did before, just the little triangles. Or you can also cut them out of paper if you have some colored paper. And if you don't have colored paper, you can actually just use some white paper and draw them and then cut them out. Uh, but if you have colored paper, I'm gonna show you how you can make two little triangles at the same time for your bow. So you're gonna fold your colored piece of paper like that. And we've done fold cutting before in class, haven't we? So this is kind of like fold cutting I mean, it is fold cutting, but we're gonna want two triangles out of this. So, you can draw a triangle right on the edge of the paper, like that, if you'd like, or it can be up here, and I'll show you two different ways. You can draw, you can draw it like that. If you draw it up like that, all you have to do just cut it out, all three sides, and you have two triangles. See that? And then that can be our bow for our kite. See that? Okay, if you draw it down here where the fold is, then all you have to do is cut two lines here and here. Okay, and when you're done, these two triangles will still be stuck together. See, I'm gonna open it up and it's gonna look like this. And then I'm just gonna cut right here in the middle. Either way, I end up with two little triangles. And then that can be my bow on my kite. So just a little dab, a little dot of glue is all we need for that. Not much glue at all. We want to be careful not to use too much glue because then it 
kind of squirts out the side and of our paper and it gets all messy and we don't want that right so just a little a little drop a little little drop of glue is all we need and I'm just gonna put my bows on my kite okay so you guys get the idea you can make one kite on your picture you can make two kites you could make three kites if you'd like and if you want to do both the drawing project and the painting project if you have paint at home that's great so i hope you had fun making kites with me today and don't forget have your mom or dad or grandma send me a picture of your artwork when you're done i'd love to see it have a great week everyone